Love and light friends. I'm just, I guess I'm lit. <laughs> we must have had some kind of an energy surge or something. Because I think a lot of us that are already lit are like on fire today. And it's interesting, some of the videos I've come across are talking about some of the exact same things I've been talking about, so I know we're on the same wavelength. I know our, our collective understanding is starting to come together. And the thought just came to mind, and I thought, man, I'm just going to hit record and whatever. If it's good, I'll post it, and if it's not, I won't. But, um... Uh, about the Archons right the Archons are the negative I may not be exactly right with my description but I'm just going to overview uh, overview them they're a, they're the they're the negative entity or entities controlling egos that are service to self but everything I'm realizing there's so much code in words there's so much coded information in words so let's just look at archons we could also say that the archons are our cons are cons. So anything ascribed to the negative, uh, let's say negative entities that have some sort of power over people or control over people, right? Like demons would be considered archons. Devils would be considered archons. Jinns would be considered archons. Uh, evil spirits would be considered archons. But do you hear me saying over and over again, archons, archons, our cons. We're con. We've been con. <laughs> We've been duped. They're just our cons. The archons. And so there's a there's a fine line happening here to where on one side of that line this shit's not even real. This shit is not even real. There is no devil that could just jump in your car right now if you're in your car and grab the steering wheel and wreck you into the person next to you. Okay? But on another hand, just on the other side of that fine line, we could say there's something real to them. And that something that's real to them is our con. In other words, we have collectively and individually co-created these ideas. Do you realize yet that your ideas become reality? So if everybody had this idea that there's this some devil character that's trying to uh, destroy everybody or deceive everybody or whatever whatever we ascribe to it to him. And see, I've kind of, I've simplified all that now. I say I say that. The devil is a symbol, and it's a symbol of your ego. So you're the devil if you're in your ego. You're conned. <laughs> if you're living as your ego, you've, you're an archon. You've been conned. And so where does the power come from? It comes from you. It comes from everybody that believes it because your thoughts and your beliefs create your reality. I'm driving this home here lately. I mean, this is what's this, this is ha this is what's coming into the collective consciousness understanding 
inner standing. We're unraveling the mysteries of the deity, the deities, the God figures, and the devil figures, the archons. They're all us. It's all our doing. We're the co-creators. It's all manifesting from you and me. And since we're all one, you could say it's me. You could say it's you. You could say it's us because that is all the same thing. When it comes to this metaphysical stuff, and I think we're all to the point that we don't want to be conned anymore. We just want the truth, the facts. Maybe not even the facts, because I'm not so sure that even sometimes the facts are not even the truth. We want what comes from the heart. We want what resonates with the heart. We want the mind of the heart back online, and we want this darn brain with its two pieces playing ping pong with every topic out there trying to figure shit out and just getting a headache we got to be done with that we've done that for thousands of years now and all we've gotten from it is heartache and headache and we always want to find that thing to blame and so Blame the Archons. Our own cons. We're going to come full circle with this and realize there never was an, 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 an enemy, really. There never was separation. This illusion is what we have created. Now, we might could say maybe the matrix is the illusion they created. But see, if we were already uh, creating an illusion, I don't know, illusion... I, I'm going to have to work on that word because I don't think we understand. I don't think everybody's on the same page with what it means when you say an illusion. So it's a little bit maybe confusing to use that word. But I guess my point would be whether we're talking about, well, just for, let's just call it the matrix. That's the simplest way to to get to it is there's a fully functioning matrix that we have created or you could say they created and then we participated in until we grew up spiritually left the ego behind started thinking with the heart again and then recreated the matrix or uncreated the matrix and I think that's what we're doing now we're uncreating the matrix and isn't it wonderful to know we're doing this isn't it a blast isn't it great don't you feel pumped don't you feel the closer you get to this, 
is the you're getting closer to the sun, the mainframe, which goes to the center of it all, the power source, and that power source is within you. It is your heart. So I'm gonna propose right now that the sun, the position of the sun is in your heart. So when you look out there and you see the sun, you're seeing your heart. And it's sending signals to this entire uh, realm all day long. See these trees and these leaves on these trees? Man, they turn to face that sun. And your heart is like one of those leaves and it's turning to face the sun because it wants to receive what it has. The power, the knowledge, the energy, the wisdom, the love, the unity, the light. And we're about to go from doing this individually to collectively because we're waking up so fast right now. That's why people's heads are spinning metaphorically. Some people had no idea this was coming because they were completely blind. Their third eye never ever worked, never came on. The heart never came online and the heart never activated. And so they don't know what to make of these energies that we're receiving from the sun, from the heart. And those of us that are conscious and awake, we know what's going on. We may not fully, you know, fully know what's going on, but we know enough. Because the heart feels that energy, that power, that love, and it, so it knows, it knows. It doesn't even have to speak English. It, it just knows. And so continue to know, my friends. Continue to, to work with it. Work with yourself. Work with that heart. Until next time, love and light, friends.